Hey, how y'all doing? What up, what up, what it do, what it be like, what it do, do, do. I thought I'd come and bring y'all along this Sunday. I am making something yummy. I have my soft taco bowls. And I'm going to put them in the oven and heat them up. But first, I'm going to let y'all know what I got going. And then y'all see at the end how they came out. So let that be done. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. So instead of doing um, turkey or ground beef, we're going to do pork. Okay. I went to Sprouts. Those of you who have Sprouts, y'all know it's more of a natural like supermarket. Well, this is a seasoned sear pork barbecue sauce, smoked, burnt pork, pork ends. So you see that? So what I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this. I heated it up, sauteed it in the pan, as you guys can see. And I'm going to put it in the blender a little bit, let it get chopped up a little bit more. I'm going to do that in front of you guys. And I'm going to make me some taco bowls with it. So with that being said, I also cut up some cabbage with peppers and onions, red onions, yellow onions is a mixture in here, some tomatoes, and some cheese. So we got that little rainbow going on. And I got my sour cream, right? Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the pork ends right in the blender with the sauce and everything. Yeah. And the first thing we're gonna do is, you know how you put your regular tacos in the oven? Let them get toasted. So we're gonna toast that these taco bowls first. But I just wanted you to also see the pork ends, okay? And I'm going to blend those up. I'm not going to have it like a liquid. <laughs> but they're going to be more like a shredded, you know what I'm saying? So guys, I brought you along. And I thought you guys would want to see it, you know what I'm saying? So I got my little top here. And we're going to go ahead. And I have it on chopped, so... And we're going to open it up and see how we got it. I want it a little bit more. And we're going to see how that goes. Oh, yeah, perfect. So let me show you guys what I mean. That's how I want it. So we're going to say that for when the taco bowls get nice and toasted. So I got my oven set at 330, but I'm going to make sure it's get up to 400 because right now it's at 330. So I want it up to at least 400. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead, put these in until they're a little golden. I want them a golden brown, not dark brown, but a little golden brown. So I got to really pay attention. I'm going to get them just to be a little crispier. Sprinkle a little bit of grapeseed oil and let y'all see what I mean by that. Grapeseed oil right on down there. Just a little bit. Nothing spectacular. And make sure I massage the love all up in there. Just massage the love. Because like I said, I got some already at the bottom of the pan. And I just want some inside the taco bowls. And these are the regular soft shell taco bowls. So I'm going to put these in the oven, guys. We're going to let them get golden brown. And TT35 will be right back. Hey, guys. TT305 is back. Want y'all to see how they came out nice and crispy. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but nice and brown like the way I want them. So we're gonna go ahead. We already shredded the what? The little short ribs. They look like short ribs, basic pork ribs. Um, we're gonna they shred it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put them right on in there, like so. Now I didn't leave them in there till they get too golden brown because I'm gonna put them back in the oven a little bit. And as you can see, this is the uh, pork. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, about two scoops, I'll say, in each one. I'm gonna man y'all down so y'all can see. Yes, guys. Make sure it's enough, which I know it is. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, what a Sunday it is for me. I'm on a, <laughs> a, a tight schedule here. But hopefully, I already know these are going to come out. I'm so excited. I can't wait to, to taste them. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. A little bit more, I would say. What y'all think? More in here. 
Spread the love, spread the love. <laughs> okay, so we got that going. If y'all hear that little noise in the background, that's the fan. I'd rather have the fan on the central air around this time because central air takes up a lot of electricity. And honey, I don't have it like that. So with that being said, we're going to keep it moving. So this is how it looks. Oh, let's spread the love in this one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. You see that? go ahead and as you can see the ovens is at the right temperature I need it but we're gonna go ahead and put the cabbage and uh, peppers and onions right on top yep cabbage guys peppers and onions right on top yeah put that love right on there and it looks so good already I hope you guys are watching. Hope you can see, right? I think you guys can. Also, too, guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Do you enjoy me making these del del delicious entrees? Let TT305 know. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some tomatoes. Yes. We're doing it different, honey. Yes, we're doing it different. Let's see. A little bit more here. Spread the love, spread the love, spread the love, spread the love. <laughs> yes, guys, spread the love. It's another tomato. I love tomatoes. How about you guys? You like tomatoes? And we put a little bit of onion on top. And I'm not going to put it in the oven for too long. I want to say just to look at like maybe five minutes, you know, it's something different the way I'm doing it. You know, I know everybody once they just brown the taco bowls, you know, that's it. You know, they're not going back in the oven, but I want to nuke my cheese where my cheese is melting on top. So I'm doing it a little different. Yes. So we got that. I think every one has the onion in there. A little bit of onion here. Put some love up in there. Onion, onion here. I think we got enough onion, guys. And now, some cheese, guys. Yes, we want that cheese to be covering it. Mm-hmm. There we go, guys. This is going to be so good. Num num. Yes. Num num, guys. Yes, and while we at it, hit that like button for TT305. I need you to hit that like button. And if you are on TikTok, I need you to hit that, tap that heart for me. I appreciate Show your love. That's right. Show your love. Yes. All right, guys. I think I got everything in there. I want it to be nice and cheesy, guys. Yes, nice and cheesy. Mm-hmm. Spread that love up in there. All right. Now, I'm going to top it off. I am with a little lime. Yep. Just a little bit. Perfect. That you guys see up close and personal. How they look before they go in the oven. And then TT305 will be right back once they're done so i'll let you see how they look now yes okay guys be right back hey guys we're back and guess what we are done so i'm gonna man you guys down and let you check it out for yourself they came out so good guys they did i let it cool down let you guys see how it look all the way no no hope that looks good to you <laughs> so tt305 is gonna go ahead and get me a plate and i'm gonna get some of this goodness i think i want to try this one right here in the middle let y'all see how good it looks mm, num num guys <laughs> 
And I'm gonna man you up. And CT305 is gonna take some sour cream. I got lemon and onions on there, but I'm gonna put it on top. I'm gonna let you see that in a minute. One double right on top. And I already have onions in there. And I'm gonna use my chili cheese sauce, chili, my sweet chili sauce. I do that all the time. And pour just a little bit of that on there. All right, guys. And of course, I still want a little bit of my taco sauce on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there for you guys. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Now, I know some of you probably, because it's in a bowl, you will use the spoon. Mm. But, uh-uh. Take a nice big bite. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. This came out real good. I like it, guys. Remind you, this is with the um, I shredded um, rib tip ends pork basically. Some of you might not eat pork, but you can eat, put it with any meat you want. Turkey, whatever, chicken. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You guys can see that? Mm-hmm. All the way around. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So good. Yes, I will make this again. And yes, I will eat this again. Mmm. <laughs> Every bite is delicious. Nice and cheesy. Put all that cheese is on there. I'm gonna fall off in a minute. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm. Yes, guys, these came out great. I'm going to see them again. There's another one without the sour cream. Mm -hmm. All the way around, nice and cheesy. Came out real good. And with that being said, guys, I want to thank you so very much. I really enjoyed making them, they're very easy. I hope you give them a try too. Comment down below and let TT305 know. Did you like the way I made them? Would you try them? It's different. Normally someone would just toast the taco bowl itself and then just put your ingredients in there. But I decided to put it back in the oven. Heat my stuff in there, ingredients in there, and then bring it back out. But to each his own. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you so very much for coming and stopping by and checking my channel out. If you're on TikTok, tap that heart, show some love. And if you're on YouTube, you already know. Double tap that screen, hit that like button. With that being said, what up, what up, what up, what up, what to do? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what to do? What up, what up, what up, what up, what to do? What it do? What it be like? Bye guys. Bye bye.